Hello YouTube, before we start I just want to say this is not really an advanced thing that we're going to cover today, however it's not an absolute beginner's thing either. I'm not going to be going into a great deal of detail when going through the code I write, so I'm expecting most of you to already have a knowledge of a C Sharp and a .NET along with Visual Studios. If you have never done C Sharp before, by all means watch the video, the source code will be under this video so you can copy it and play around with it but I'd advise you to watch the tutorial of C-Sharp as well. However, let's get started. Today, what I want to show you is how to make a Windows format in C-Sharp from scratch. Often people do this, they go straight to new project and they go straight to Windows form application. And voila, it's all done for you and all the code is nice and different way of form the CS design file that no one ever bothers to look at. Well, you may ask, well, if Visual Studio does all this code for you, why bother ever knowing what it does? Well, that's quite an ignorant way to look at it, to be fair. Most of the time, when you're designing code and stuff like that, you won't always have an IDE handy, and it does become quite infuriating, when, you, especially when you're chatting to new coders who've been doing it sort of six months to a year, and they've actually designed some pretty nice and sophisticated applications. You remove the IDE from them, they don't even know how to make a basic window. It's really quite simple to be fair, so today that's what we're going to be looking at. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to target the .NET Framework 4.0 and obviously this can actually be done in any version of Framework, even 1.0, all the code we're going to be using today is fully supported. We're just going to design an empty application for now, empty project, and then we're going to call it basic. first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to add some references because when you start off with an empty project you have absolutely nothing referenced. So what we're going to have to add is, let's make this go in alphabetical reverse, just add it somewhere I don't need to. Right, add reference. systems windows forms there it is we also need system drawing whatever that's gone to so there it is. right so we've got both those added now now system windows form is self-explanatory why we're going to need that because obviously every control that's for a form is within that class and the system drawing a uh, lot of point specifically what we need is size and point because they both come from that thing Point is often used for locations of items such as buttons and text and labels. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a class. We'll just call this main. So we've got a class called main now, and that'll basically be it. And within this class, what we're going to do is we're going to do the public. is the overall entry point for the entire application. Obviously I understand why I'm doing this, the pixel resolution might not actually be as great as what I'm seeing it, so I'm going to try and say as much as what I'm writing as possible so that you can keep up. I'll also try and post the source code somewhere around the YouTube window. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make another class for the source window. We're going to assign it as a system. This is what it will actually run when we first call it. It's public window. So it'll run what's ever in these brackets here when we first call it up here. So now what we have to do is obviously call it. To do that, we use the system windows form application. Wait, run. Now what this does is it basically creates. Around continuously until we actually tell it to close or until the form exits. The reason why we do this is obviously because at the moment what it would do in this normal state of affairs run from top to bottom. We don't want that to happen because obviously we've got a form loaded and the form 
once it's loaded, people use it and then close it when they want to close it. So we have to make system point application run, and I think it even says in there, yeah, it will just keep the current thread around while this form is this form is being used. Okay, so now we've got this public window. Fair enough. Now what we've got to do is let's give it some properties. So let's give this point text. Size that should all generate for you. Let's just set it to 640 by 480. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's also actually drag this down. Some properties for LB1 as well, so LB1 point size equals actually the size deal back. Uh, what should we do? Let's go down to our LB1 point text equals this point size. First one is obviously left to right and then it's up and down. So let's do system point draw endpoint equals this point width divided by two. Put that in brackets. Take away LB1 point width divided by two. Put that in brackets as well. Comma, and then we'll do the height. Height is going to be this point height divided by two minus thirty one height divided by two, and let's also take another point five off as well because obviously we've got the bar at the top, which makes a little bit of a difference. And we'll put closing brackets there, we'll put two closing brackets there, one there. Equations are done in the right order. And um, now what we need to do is we need to add the label that we've created up here to the actual form itself. So to do this we've got this point controls point add open bracket LB1. And this can just assign the object LB1. There we are. So now what we add to the form, there we've got the width 640 by 480 and it's in the middle of our application roughly. So it's a bit, as you can see, the size was a bit cramped, so we think it's not quite at the right length. So let's do L1 point auto size equals true. There we are, let's have a look what that's like. There we are, auto size is now true, so the width is about right, and it's in roughly the middle of our application as well. Uh, let's also I'll tell you what, let's do a event handler. Let's do a resize event handler. This point resize equals and it's plus equal, so it and oh look, it's already come up with us to insert it automatically for us. So just press the tab button, new event handler, which is inherent from the system and window size and And now it's also created the void windows resize for us, and it's just passing the object the sender and the event tile. We won't really be using the event tile for this, but we may do later. 
Okay, so let's do let's nick that again. And we'll also nick that. And that. Right, so this should mean that when we actually resize the application, everything moves in accordance with it and all the figures change, which is quite nice to see that it is actually working. But it's not quite in the middle, that's the only problem we've got. We need to minus it a little bit. There we are. It didn't need the plus or minus after all. Okay, slightly different to when I've done it before. But okay, you get the basic idea of the press. So now what we've got basically is a form. We've gone over an event handler as well, which is quite nice, but I did want to fit that in somewhere. Uh, another little thing that you may need to know, if you want to do any parameters for your form, you can actually assign them up here, so we can do a string text if we wanted to. And as you can see, it's automatically highlighted up, up here, because obviously it now needs a, something sent to it, a parameter, so you can just put up. this down here to just a string form text form text equals text so that makes it actually public throughout the entire class so we can use it in the Windows resize one as well just do that and plus So now we've got a new window app up there instead. And I think that pretty much concludes it for now. Uh, like I said, I will actually put all this source code available on YouTube somewhere down the bottom, hopefully, of the video left. I might have to link it. I don't know how big them text boxes are, if they can fit it all in, but if it does, I will just paste it all in there. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it.